How are you all? I hope so you will find kids. We are the most completed our chapter number 4, right? Reproduction in animals. In today's session number 5, I am going to explain you the textbook exercise. That is the word in page number 44, 45 and 46. Please open the textbook. Okay? There is even question number 1. In assessment zone, question number 1. Pick the correct answer. Kids, here four options is given where you need to select one appropriate answer, right? Be careful, be careful while selecting the answer. And kids, if you have a textbook with you, please do it with me. So, a count of joy, you can complete with me only, okay? So, page number 44, question number 1. Pick the correct answer, number 1. The period of time for which a living being lives is for its life. A. Life cycle. B. Lifespan. C. Duration. D. Cycle. Yes. I think you know answer. Yes. Yes. Our answer must be B. Lifespan. Right? You are supposed to take on B. Done. Now next. Number two, the white part of an egg is called black. I think kids, you really don't need any options. Still, I am giving you A. Eggshell, B. Embryo, C. Albumin, D. Yolk. Yes, our answer is albumin. The white part of an egg is called albumin. Clear? Now, number three. The larva of the housefly is called black. What we are supposed to call a larva of a housefly? A. Maggot. B. Me. C. Spun. Here it had one. This is so easy. As we all know, the larva of a housefly is called maggot. So we are supposed to take on A. Done. Now, number 4. Change in the form of an organism from the young stage to the adult stage is what? This is so easy one. If we find something change between the young stage, young stage to the adult stage, then what is called that? Without option, I think you know. Life cycle, lifespan, metamorphosis, young multi. Yes, our answer is metamorphosis, right? We are supposed to take on C. Done. Now, last one. Number 5. Which of the following animals gives birth to the young ones? So easy. Dog, fish, cat, or butterfly. Oh, so easy kids. Yes, our answer is cat. Cat in these four options, cat is the only one which reproduces by giving birth, right? So, we are supposed to take on C. Done, kids. Now, page number 45, question number 2. Fill in the blanks using the words given in the books. There are five options are given there. We need to select appropriate answer for each and every blank, right? Incubate, nourishment, meat, marsupials, and sparks. These are the four options given here, right? Now, blank number one. Animals that carry their young ones in their pouch are called blank. So easy, right? We are, we are going to call it them as a marsupials, right? So, write it with Pencil, marsupials, kids, it is a little bit uh, difficult spelling. Pronunciate well and write it well. There already spell is given there. Check it out once and write it okay. Now, number two. An egg of a cockroach transforms into a form of a world. There is one thing that a cockroach lays eggs, right? When after uh, hatching from that egg, which is the form of cockroach? 
कॉकरोच का कौन सा फॉर्म दिखाई देता है क्या बोले व्हाट आर गोइंग टू कॉल इट यस इट इज वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल इट एज अ नी एन वाई एम ई एच क्लियर नाउ नंबर 3 The clusters of eggs laid by the female frogs are called clusters of eggs are laid by female female frogs are called so is it spawns yes it is a correct answer spawns s p a w n s spawns clear now number 4 Birds sit on their eggs to lay them. There is one process when they they when any female bird lays eggs. After that, they sit on that egg to warm to give some warmness to that egg. Right? So that process is called what? That process is called incubation. Right? So here incubate is given. Right? So you need to fill that blank with incubate. I N C U B A T E incubate. And that process is called incubation. Clear? Now five last one. The yolk in the egg provides blood to the growing chick. What it provides? Yes, our last option is remaining right. So it provides nourishment to the growing chick. Clear? N O U R I S H M E N T. नरिशमेंट कोई भी बेबी होता है कोई भी कोई भी रिप्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस होती है या तो एग की या तो डेट वर्ड की दे ऑल नीड सम नरिशमेंट टू ग्रो इन साइड राइट सो दिस प्रोवाइड्स नरिशमेंट टू ग्रो इन चिक क्लियर सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू नाउ लेट्स बिगिन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री स्टेट ट्रू और फॉल्स Kids, if this statement is correct, then you are supposed to write down true. If this statement is incorrect, then you are supposed to write down false. You need to write down full, true and false. You are not supposed to write down T F. Okay? This is my strict instruction to you all. If you wrote T and F, I am not going to check your book. Okay? Now, number one. Most insects build nests to lay their eggs. Most of the insects lay uh, make nests to lay eggs. No, most of the mostly few insects are there, few birds are there who makes it. Here is given most insects, right? So this statement is absolutely incorrect because nest is built by birds, not by insects. Clear? So write down false. Kids there. Blank is not given, so you can write it aside. Okay. Now next number two. The white watery substance present in an egg is called albumin. Abhi kya na hum log? We have done recently. You can explain to it. So this statement is correct. The white part that is present in egg that is called albumin. So write down true. Now number three, a tadpole is the young one of the snake. No tadpole is a young one of a frog. So this statement is incorrect. And you are supposed to write down false. Clear? Yeah. Now number four, fish lay their eggs on land. Fish lay their eggs land. Do they do it? Of course not. Fish is a Water animal, right? So, for but naturally, it is not laying eggs in on land, right? So, this statement is also incorrect. So, please write down false. Now, last one, number five. There are three stages in the life cycle of a cockroach. There are only three stages or three stages in life cycle of a cockroach. Yes, this is correct. That first, that it lays eggs, then it converts into me, and then after it directly converts as a cockroach. So this statement is correct. So write down two. Done, kids. I think you have completed these things with me only. Now let's begin question number four. Identify the animals given below on the basis of their way of reproduction. 
that's given to one. One is of lay eggs and another one is of give birth to young ones. And then after there are few pictures that you know that we need to identify that picture and we need to write down in a proper appropriate box. एक box है जो directly lay eggs करता है, eggs को lay करता है. और दूसरा box है कि वो ऐसे animals जो direct birth देते हैं. और जो third वाला है उसमें there are few pictures that we know that we need to identify and we need to put it in a we need to write down in a correct option. In pictures there are like camel, cat, lizard, fish, cockroach, elephant, frog, leopard. These are the animals that are there, right? So now to lay eggs, which animals lays eggs? Fish. So we need to write down. We need to write down in which column? Yes, in column number one. In lay eggs. So write down fish. Then after search it out, kids. After second one is lizard. Right? She also it also lays eggs, right? So we are supposed to write down only column one. Now search it out, third one. Yes, that is tortoise. Tortoise also lays eggs, right? So we are supposed to write down only column one. Now last one, search it out, kids. Yes, it is a cockroach. So completed. Now only one column is remaining. That is about new words to young ones. Camel, cat, leopard, and elephant. Right? These are the animals who gives birth to their young ones. Clear? Done. So we have completed our textbook exercise. Now let's begin answer the following questions in brief. Okay, kids, you need to copy down these all question answer in your CWL with good handwriting. Wherever you need to skip line, skip it. And if you don't don't know how to write in a question, please don't do it. Because exam I did, you are feeling confusion because up in a good care writing, you won't be able to find it out clearly. Right? So do it with good handwriting. Where we need to give presentation. Here it is. Okay. So now let's begin. Question number five. Answer the following questions in brief. Number one. Why do animals reproduce? Animals reproduce humans. The living beings, the living beings reproduce to produce more of their own. This ensures the continuity of life. Kids, this is a, this is an earth, right? We, we are, we already, we all are already surviving in earth, right? So, to continuity of life, we all living beings need to reproduce. Otherwise, if we won't be able to reproduce, then what happens? For egg na egg din, puri shristi, khatam ho jami, nobody is there to live with it, right? So, to continuity our life in this world, we need to reproduce. Clear? Now, number two. Why do birds build their nests? As we all know, as we as human beings, we need house to live in, to protect ourselves. To save from weather conditions, right? There are so many things that we need house to live, right? Same as like that, birds also need rest to lay eggs, to protect their babies, to taking care of their babies, right? To save from uh, different different weather conditions, right? Birds need nest to lay their eggs. They take care of their young ones in their nest. Clear? Now number three. What do you understand by incubation? As I told you, incubation is a process that birds are doing after they lay eggs. Any, any parent bird, they sit on egg for few days. That process is called incubation, right? To give some warmness to their eggs, right? So, one of the parent bird sits on the eggs for some days to keep them warm. This process is called incubation. Clear? Now, four. State the functions of the following parts of an egg. Here, some parts are given that we need to give some 
description regarding that part. Right? Number one, alveolar. It protects the embryo from shocks and jaws. It provides water to the developing baby. If developing baby needs nourishment, it also needs some water. So albumin is a thing which provides these things, right? And even it provides, it helps, it protects the baby and baby embryo from jerks and shocks. Even like so, sometimes it happens that egg gives egg like so it also like ki usko bhi jerk lag sakta hai usko bhi shocks lag sakte hai right? so the work of albumin is to protect embryo from germs and shocks and even it provides water to that embryo clear now next milk it provides nourishment to the developing embryo as i told you that embryo also needs some nourishment to grow inside right so the work of milk is to provide nourishment to embryo. Clear? Now see action. This hard outer shell protects the egg. Uh, yes, we have a skin to protect ourselves, right? Same as like that, egg shell is a part that protects the whole egg. Clear? It is the outer part of egg. Now next number one. What is metamorphosis? As we all know, metamorphosis is a process. It is a like kind of a process that okay, complete change in the form of an organism from the young stage to the adult stage. The young stage may be any one of that. So, uh, yeah, uh, totally adult stage, it looks totally different from the young stage, right? So that process is called metamorphosis. Clear? Now six. Define life cycle and monitor. The sequence of developing that takes place in an animal from the embryo to the adult stage is called its life cycle. Molting is the process of shading old skin and changing into adults. Here I think you already know the difference between life cycle and molting. Molting is a kind of a process that animal shades their skin and it converts themselves into an adult stage. So that process is called molting. Clear? Now last one, number seven. Describe one similarity between seahorse and camel. You we need to describe one similarity between seahorse and camel. So easy. They both have a pouch, right? Seahorse carries its eggs around in a pouch. Kangal also have a pouch on their body to carry carry their young ones. So so easy, right? So kids, we have completed our question number five. Answer the following question in brief. Now let's begin question number six. That is about answer the following questions in detail. Okay, kids, don't mug up. Try to. You are not supposed to learn the question and question answer. You need to keep it in your mind, right? So, you will write your answer by your own self, okay? Now, number one. Describe the life cycle of a butterfly. Here, we need to describe the life cycle of a butterfly in different, different stages, right? Listen me carefully, okay? A butterfly has four stages of development in its life cycle. It lays eggs on leaves. The eggs hatch to reproduce larva, which is called caterpillar. Larva get their food from leaves. The third stage is the pupa. Larva get their food from the leaves. Sorry, the third stage is the pupa. In this stage, larva cover themselves with a thread like structure called cocoon. The caterpillar undergoes transformation inside the cocoon. An adult emerges from the cocoon. So here is the life cycle of a butterfly. Now second. What is the difference between the life cycle of a frog and the housefly? You may need to write down the difference between the life cycle of a frog and life cycle of a housefly, right? Frog lays eggs in a lake. Or a pot, whereas housefly lays eggs at the dry place. Give the difference, right? 
there is no match between them. So this is the main difference. Difference is there, right? In the life cycle of a frog, that pool that pool comes out of an egg, which looks like a small fish. It has no legs and a long tail. After five weeks, that pool loses tail and grows organs and limbs. In about 11 weeks, it transforms into fully developed frog. In the life cycle of a house fly, it also lays hundreds of eggs at a time. The larva of a house fly is called maggot. After some days, the larva becomes barrel shape. This is how called a pupa. Pupa is covered by a cocoon. It also breaks up into a week and a young house fly comes out. So this is the main difference of difference between the house fly and frog, right? I hope so you understand. Now, number three. Kangaroos give birth to their babies, but they are called not so fierce. Why? Because they are carrying their own babies into a pond. That's why they are called as a marsupials. Right? Kangaroos are called marsupials because they have a pouch on their body to carry their young ones. So easy. The mother kangaroo cares for them, feeds them and protects them and carry them everywhere, everywhere in her pouch till they can look after themselves. So, the Oh, they won't be able to like mature till that thing they help to what what they are helping they help to carry them and taking care of them clear now number four how do mammals take care of their young ones after they are born mammals kis tarah se apne babies ki care karte born hone ke baad even we living beings are also called mammals, right? Mammals take care of their babies until they can live on their own. Tab tak wo bade nahi ho jate. Tab tak uski care karte na. The mother care, the mother cares for them, feeds them food and protect them from feed, sorry, from predators till they can look after themselves. Same as like kangaroo. Some mammals such as the tiger teach their young ones to hunt. Clear? Now number five. Where do turtles lay eggs? What do they do with their babies after hatching? So easy. Turtles dig shallow pits near the riverbanks and lay eggs there. They carry their young ones to the water body after the eggs hatch and take care of them for some time. So easy. Now, sixth one. Discuss the life cycle of a cockroach. Here we need to discuss the life cycle of a cockroach. Listen me carefully, young kids. Cockroach go through three stages of development during their life cycle. Therefore, they are known to have an incomplete metamorphosis. During the time period, the egg of the insect transforms into a transforms into a form called nymph. It does not have wings. The nymph shades its outer covering number of times and changes into an adult. This is known as what? Clear so easy. Now last one, number seven. Why does tadpole have gills instead of lungs to breathe? Tadpole lives in water to breathe underwater. Tadpole have gills instead of lungs. So easy. So here we completed our textbook exercises. Right? After completion of textbook exercise, I have given some extra activity that you are supposed to do it in your CWA. I have given you number one, draw a life cycle of a house fly. You need to draw a life cycle of a house fly and you need to label that um, life cycle. Okay? Then after number two, draw draw and label a 
diagram of a bird is f. You need to draw a diagram of x and you also need to label that paper. So this is the extra activity which is given by me and you are supposed to do it in your CW. So we only completed our session number 5 and I have shared a video PDF of this. So do it if possible then do it today only. If you need to spend 1-2 hours Please spend it and complete your chapter in your CWD, okay? So kids, if you like my video, like it. And kids, you will be completed our chapter number 4. Now in next session, I am going to begin chapter number 5.